Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to talk tagging, huh? It's gotten a little more confusing now with logging in as your page and what can you tag and who can you tag and where do you tag, how do you find it all. You know, Facebook keeps changing and it, it makes my hair stand on end, can't you tell? So let's talk about what you can do in your personal profile versus your page and all that kind of thing. So to tag someone in a post, all you do is type the little at symbol and then you can start typing their name. Like if I wanted to tag my friend Phyllis here, I could tag her and um, she, that would be now linked to her page. She'd see me tagged, uh, that I tagged her in my page, in my, in my personal profile. But I can also tag pages that I already like as my personal profile. So maybe I want to say, um, uh, I want to tag her personal, uh, her her Facebook page too. I could do that. She's got, uh, uh, and I, since I like it here, I'm starting to type it. But you can see, I I just have to type some of the letters in there, and it'll find it. So I can t now I found her Facebook page, and I could tag that too because I like her page. So we've got I can tag people and pages, and I can also tag events for my personal profile. And you can tag any event that you've been invited to. So that's kind of an interesting little fact there. So um, I could say she is attending the Social Media Success Summit. So uh, I have to start typing that. So here it is, Social Media Success Summit. I Now I've tagged that whole, uh, that whole event. So I can tag a person, a Facebook page, an event, and you have to like them or be friends with them, or have been invited to the event, or RSVP. So that's what you can do from your personal profile. Now let's talk from your page. So let's go to my page here. Where is my page? Here we go. So now say that I wanted to, now on your page, you can only tag other pages or events that you've created. So, um, but you have to like that page as your page first. And here's how you do that. So I might say, hey, I'm heading down to Denny's. Hey, heading down to Denny's. And it's not finding it. That's because I don't like it as my page first. I might have liked it in my personal profile. That doesn't matter. You have to re-like it as your, per your Facebook page. So now, before I can tag it, I gotta go find Denny's page, and they got a fantastic, uh, fantastic breakfast there. Good, good specials going on. I like that. Good deals. So here's the Denny's page, and I can just click like, and they got the baconalia going on. Ha! Ah, well, I gotta get down there. Oh man, baconalia. Okay. So now I just go back to my page here. Now I can tag them. So. Heading, whoa, I forgot the H. I got excited about Baconalia. <laughs> now I can tag them for Baconalia. I don't know how to spell you. That, uh, that's some kind of marketing craziness that happened there. So now I can tag it. It would show up. It would show up on their page. They would be see my post on their page. So that's what happens there. And... Um, now, you can only, again, you can only tag events that happen that you've created on your, on your, uh, on your page by yourself. So, I, I talk about more in the post. Read that for the complicated little rules on when you can tag the events and, and who created it, even if you've got multiple admins. That may change. I don't know. Facebook, it's always changing. But right now, I got to get myself to Denny's. All right. Hope that helped. Talk to you next time.